with another video pitching gameplay. We're going back to the well with Chris Medlin. I know, I know. Giving it another shot. I just want to see. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, but I, I refuse to uh, to give up. You see, I just opened up here with a uh, first pitch home run from Corey Seager. Can we go back to back? Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this prime Chris Medlin another shot. See if we can make it work. Get deeper than three, four innings, which has kind of been my cap. And uh, we'll just see where we're at. We're facing Jose Fernandez right now. See, um, I don't know if you watched my Matt Harvey video. That's the most recent one. Uh, I was talking about how I was progressing with this Mark Teixeira. And if you can see there on the scoreboard, I'm up to 326 with the batting average. So I'm getting there. I'm starting to starting to hit well with him. Starting to feel good hitting well with this uh, with this uh, diamond diamond Mark Teixeira. Ooh, thought that was going to clip me. By the way, I noticed I said that about a pitch in the Matt Harvey video about clipping. Damn, why did I say that? Clipping, uh, what it means like clip clip the strike zone, like clip the corner, like just just get a piece of it. Usually it's that outside pitch there. Ooh, that curve. I did not think that was gonna be a curve and it just took that sharp left turn at the end. Get through, oh. All right, here we go, meddling time. It's meddling time once again. Oh my God. All right, just want to see real fast. Okay, we're dealing with an 1838 rating. That's pretty similar to what we're working with. I think I'm at 1860 or something. I'm actually on a little bit of a winning streak after a pretty dark cold spell. And when I say cold spell, it's not always like a bunch of losses in a row, but like you know, five and five and ten or something in the last fifteen. You know, some, something like that. Like that's a cold spell. It's not always a losing streak necessarily. By the way, speaking of that Matt Harvey video from the third time, I noticed the volume was pretty high on it, and I apologize for that. I just use my PlayStation camera, so I'm kind of surprised. Like, I was just talking. Maybe I was just shouting. Maybe I was just talking too loudly. So I'm hoping that this one turns out well. And it's not so so loud normal. By the way, if you notice, uh, we're going straight change up right now. Four pitches, four change ups. <sighs> five pitches, five change ups, but finally a hit. curveball we're gonna try to get through the first inning without throwing a fastball see if it can be done without getting decimated of course speaking of as I as I throw that change up that hangs just a touch and Pujols goes 450 just foul let's get out of the inning here come on Chris come on Chris be great let's go boom that's Ian Desmond at, at short, by the way. So I'm trying to get, um, I really love Ian Kinsler. I'm a Tigers fan. I liked Ian Kinsler when he was a Ranger, though. Uh, just been, oh, I've always been an Ian Kinsler fan. And I really want to get that card. So I'm trying to gas it up a little bit here um, and get those innings done with, as you just saw, coming up to bat, Napoli, but also Desmond at short. So I'm going a little bit different than I normally would with my lineup just to try to get there. I think it should only be another, I don't know, Depending on if I can get you Darvish a couple times, it should only be about 11 to 13 games if I did my math right. And that's not with too many guys in there. I'm going to have Teixeira, Napoli, Desmond, and then Darvish in the rotation, and even Diekman in the bullpen. So I could even maybe cut that a little bit. If I get a big... Oh, dang it. Nice pitch. If I get a big you Darvish outing and, and get some good... Deekman usage, I can maybe cut that to 10 games. Because I like Ian Desmond, but he's a lefty only guy, and I'm, I'm using him against everybody right now. Man, that, 
those breaking balls that get you. I thought that was a changeup. Speaking of, that, that's the one. The slider, okay, but that curveball is so tricky. The Cano is another one I think I mentioned last time. I'm not hitting that well with, and 227 suggests it's still not going all that well, but then I go yak ball. Boom, let's go. Right as I'm about to say something about how I'm not hitting that well, he hangs one for me. He hangs my bangs him. Let's go. I know it's hang him and bang him. But... Matt Kemp with... I'm inching my way up with Matt Kemp, another guy that I'm, I'm trying to give some, some time to to really see if I can get going. 236. Don't know what I was, and I was hitting like maybe 206. So I've raised his batting average 30 points in a handful of games. Swinging at shit like that's not going to help, though. Or that, to be honest. Now we gotta, now we gotta roll with Meds. The old Meds himself. Throw me a fastball, bro. Oh, send that down the line. I'll get, I'll get two with Chris Medlin. Let's, oh, let's go. Come on, bro. Give me something. Nah. Or I'll weekly ground out to first. Either one. All right, back on the mound. With our boy, Prime Chris Medlin. They're not showing my pitch count yet. I wonder if it's... I don't know why it is. I was going to say maybe it's because I'm only throwing two pitch types, but that shouldn't be the case. Oh, boy. He had a green swing, too. He just He just swung through it. That's just the per nines kicking in, I think. Because he really shouldn't have missed that. Don't hang it. Don't hang it. There we go. I've been having trouble with those um, with those line drives to the outfield lately. The ones that are just like right at the guys. They're, they just have not been catching them with enough frequency lately. So I was pretty nervous on that one. All right, now we're going to work a two-seamer in our first one. That's not... Why do they always drift out? Like, the break says it goes in on the hands, and yet they always drift out over the plate. And that's why two-seamers suck. Now, that one goes in too far. I don't, I don't get it. I just suck with two-seamers. If you watch my YouTube videos at all or see me on stream, you know that pitch is the bane of my existence. The two seamer. Except with Aaron Sanchez. For some reason I can make it work with him. That's two to one. Let's go. Son of a gun. <sighs> early on it, but Bang City right there. See now I've had people who have had success with Chris Mellon say just throw a bunch of change ups. Yeah, but like they're just going to float up in there, and they're going to spit on the ones that are out of the zone, and then they're going to cry the hitter. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to these, uh, these uh, stats that have been coming up, but with every hitter, he's got some disgusting numbers. Boy. All right. Well, we hung one to bets, and it made it a 2-1 game. Let's just get some more runs. Let's... Let's get that cushion so we're not so afraid to go in the zone. Speaking of Ian Desmond, 256, not bad. If, if, if you looked at the righty-lefty, I bet I bet he's over 300 against lefties and then, you know, low 200s against righties, which again suggests a platoon, but I'm sacrificing a little bit for the innings. That's why he bats nine. The defense is slick, though. I've been doing this now for like the last three games, and he's made some killer plays up the hole, up the middle, and deep in the hole, which um, is between second and third base, deep in there, and then up the middle, of course, is behind second base. Working stuff low for sure. 
and then tries to finish me off with high stuff. Oh, I thought that was going to stay in the zone. Where are we at? We got his pitch cuts. He's mixing pretty well. We got to spit on that curve. That he's going to invariably throw soon. Unless he makes it, unless it's a hittable pitch, like I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, obviously it's an out, but if you're gonna leave it there, I can get good wood on it. It's funny that literally, as I said, you need to spin on those curves. He throws a very hittable one, a hittable two. Those two have not been good. The, the in the first two innings, he threw a bunch of really good ones. Oh, jeez, super late on that. Jose Fernandez is a tough one for me. I will admit that. So you're seeing some really bad swings. I will I will cop to that. Can we get that off the monster? No, not quite. Where are we at? 34 pitches. Okay. I'd like to get a hit here and then attack on another 10 pitches this inning if possible. I've been working on something, and I'm... Emphasis I'm working on because I'm I'm not I'm not doing it with enough consistency right now and you guys can keep an eye on it to see where I'm at. My buddy Little Man Little Man 17 from Twitch um, told me about a hitting technique where you leave your PC even hits well with Fernandez. This guy's a monster. Um, you just leave your PCI in the middle and, and adjust up or down instead of instead of sitting a certain spot and going from there and. Um, I've been having some success with it. Again, it's a, it's a learning process for sure. It's not something that overnight all of a sudden I was doing, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I also tried something that my Twitch followers have told me multiple times to try, and I was reluctant to do it. And then when I was in that cold snap, I said, you know what? I'll just give it a look. And you know, you never know when you do t when you do something for two games if it's if that's what changed it or if it's just you know, you were gonna do that against that the guy that guy pitching anyway. I'll see call. I just want the pitcher. But uh, I went to wedge of all things and found some success there. Very weird. Again, I don't know what to make of it. And we're in deep crap with a rod coming up. Ooh, really intimidating them with 90 there. Die. <laughs> you can get somebody hurt that way, Paul. Good tank, good tank. That's why this guy's a lit hitter. I'd probably flail at that. And he does that with that. Yeah. Guys, I hate this card. I don't know why I keep trying to use it. I, I, I don't know how to pick this. And I fancy myself a pretty decent pitcher, but you can't put a changeup flat over the plate like that. And give up a three-run yak. We're facing Fern. Even a two-run deficit feels pretty devastating. The only good news is my last two games were Matt Harvey and Clayton Kershaw, and I didn't really have to go to the bullpen much. You know, and they got to call the pitches that are strikes, though, man. I tell you what, the the walk to Harvey was garb or to Fernandez was garbage. You're not calling the pitches here, like the umpires in this game, man. They're so bad. They're so bad. There's no consistency at all. It's variable to the point where you have literally no idea what anything will ever be called, and I don't think that's I don't think that's any good, personally. I think there's got to be a little bit more consistency than that. Is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? Is that what the quote is? I've gone insane trying to use this stupid card. I don't know why. Oh, oh, fantastic. This is going well, folks. This is really, really going well. Might as well put in Ted. Oh, boy. Hey. 
yeah, suck on it. I don't really care. Like, are you just supposed to throw, like, low change-ups all day? This guy's going to spit on it. Like, I don't know the key to working with And that's a hanger. I don't know, man. I know some people claim to, to find success with this card. I want to see it. Because right now, I honestly, I don't believe him. I don't believe anybody is having any consistent success with this Chris, with this Chris Medlin card in a level higher than, I don't even think DS. I think DS hitters are going to crush this card. They just need to do something next year that gives low velocity guys a fighting chance. Because you face somebody with these good reactions, they are going to murder 90 mile an hour fastballs and you got to come in with 85 down the middle change-ups. Or 81 even. I could have gone home there, but we're it's early enough in the game that we'll just give up the run at this point. We can't afford a potential disaster there. Where they get the run and then they got two on, one out. There's no way. Jesus. Yeah, this card sucks, man. I'm over it. This card sucks. I don't know why I did this, y'all. <laughs> I'm dumb. I think that's that's that that's the takeaway from this video. I'm dumb. Splendid. He bats around. Well, Jose about to go three run yak right here for sure. Because I'm just laying it in the zone. Walk him. This game doesn't no strikes most of the time. Cool. Cool. Sorry, I dared to throw a breaking ball. You sucker. All right, we gotta get our hitting shoes on. You know what? Let's do this. Let's test it, man. I said I was trying some wedge out and it was working. Or that it has the appearance of working because I was hitting. Again, it could have just been the opposition that I was facing and I was hitting well, but let's just try it. How funny would that have been if it was a first pitch yak? That would have been kind of amazing. Probably not gonna do this video to the completion of this game. Um, but we'll go another couple innings, even if it's not with with Medlin, and then I'll I'll, I'll put in the uh, comments, or excuse me, in the description, whether or not I was able to come back. I think he's gonna go high. And he went low, so I was wrong. Just late. <sighs> Two very hittable pitches for Teixeira and uh, Gonzalez this inning. Not saying both should have been homers, but it could have easily been a couple of hits. I got good on it. I got green, not quite center green. but That's the thing, though. When you're dealing with somebody like Fern, even, even a green, you know, his per nines can offset some of that. Hang me another one. Oh. <sighs> Thought I got there, y'all. All right, I know y'all can't answer, but should I go with Medlin for another inning here? We know the answer's definitely no, but I'll let him pitch to Fern for some reason. Leading off the fourth inning, enter. If you are ever in one of my Twitch streams, twitch.com slash peacebore24, I know I should have my Twitch and my YouTube. Armin has always killed me for that. 
But uh, if you're ever in one of my Twitch, Twitch streams, and I suggest going out to buy the Medlin again, please kill me. Please just make fun of me profusely and talk me out of it. This is just not a good card. Not for me, at least. Meanwhile, if you're out there having success with it, first off, prove it. Let me see some videos or some box scores. But also, uh, I think, wait, actually, I think in the last video I did, one of you guys or a couple of y'all was telling me about some success that you had. But I just gave up all run to Ichiro. So, I don't know. Again, prove it. Because I don't buy it. I really don't. This is a terrible card. I just don't believe that anybody's out there having real success with this card. Not in higher levels. Maybe it's an analog thing. You know, I don't use analog because I, I can't. My, my stupid thumb uh, just doesn't work for analog. Oh, that's going to happen to me? Okay, dude. That's what this game is then? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, my, my, my thumb won't go down and up in a straight manner to actually use it like I've tried I can't use analog so maybe he's an analog card I don't know. my buddy Brady boiler boy 14 on Twitter or excuse me on Twitch um, has kind of been working where he has some guys he pitches meter with and oh that's gone and other guys he throws analog with Jesus. We're going to get mercy. Cool. Now I'm messing up my boy Holland's stats. This is great. This is cool. This is fun. Anyway. I think we'll cap this video here. There's no real need to keep going. I, I knew it was going to be trouble when I saw this guy's uh, hitting stats. Kind of surprised he's only an 1838. I'm curious as to, and looking on his Show Nation page, he only has a 255 average, but everybody in his lineup right now has devastating numbers. I don't know what it is. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this. You guys can make fun of me for trying meddling again like a dummy. You'll never see another Crimson team. They change how low velocity players work in this game and um, I try the card again because if they do if they alter the engine I'll try it again but as a for MLB 16 you will not see it nine runs nine hits just shoot me all right take care thank you guys for watching